Jason, we were all rooting for our Blue Raiders to make it to the Sweet 16, and even though it didn't happen this year, our men's basketball team still made some school history. Yeah, they managed to get to the tournament two years in a row for the first time ever, and they managed to get a win in both of those games. Uh, our Sports Zone, Alex Myers, he's our Sports Zone host, uh, joins us now for a recap of MTSU's time in the NCAA tournament. How's it going, Alex? I'm good. Thank you so much, guys. Well, on Saturday, Middle Tennessee's dream of reaching the Sweet 16 ended as the Blue Raiders fell to Butler by a final score of 74-65. to While initially fans were disappointed following the loss, it didn't take long for fans, coaches, and players alike to realize just how special this season was. Compiling an overall record of 31-5, the Blue Raiders had one of the best seasons in the program's history. Going 17-1 in conference play, Middle Tennessee won both the regular season and conference tournament championships for Conference USA this season. Coming off last year's tournament when the Blue Raiders upset Michigan State, expectations were high around Kermit Davis and this basketball team. Middle Tennessee faced off against Minnesota in the first round and the Blue Raiders marched on to a big-time victory. While the team was eventually defeated in the second round against a hard-fighting Butler team on Saturday, the Blue Raiders' season was still a phenomenal one. Throughout the tournament run, we've seen the story of a basketball team who helped to unite a school and entire community. For seniors Reggie Upshaw, Ja'Cory Williams, Aldonis Foote, and Xavier Habersham, their legacy will be a lasting one. To this community, they were more than just basketball players. They will be forever true blue.